go, man. Double seven. Done a little rearranging and went my storage and uh, got some stuff out. As you can see I love the Nikes. That is the only shoe that I will wear, which I bought others. Don't get me wrong. Bought the Sacconis. I don't like them. You don't like them a little bit. They get a thumbs down. Goldman 007 disapproves. But the Nikes. Big Goldman 007 approves. Because what I do, people, I just consume. I am a consumer. Hi. Uh, I'm James, and uh, I'm a consumer. Hi, James. Well, I hear this is the 13-step uh, program, and um, I'm guilty of consuming. It's okay. It's okay to go buy stuff. But you know what? When it's made in China, that is... That's really just kind of... I don't like the word stupid. That is uneducated to buy anything made in China. For one, why do we buy stuff made in China to begin with? You know... I don't know. I know it's not because of the quality. But then again, I prefer things made in Canada, to be honest with you. That is, they're neighbors to the north. They're educated. They take pride. It's not American pride, but it's Canadian pride. And they make some pretty damn good Canadian bacon, if you ask me. So, go Canada. And I got some family... Uh, you know, who they, they, they seen me and I, I guess they were like hey, we like this crazy American, uh, he fought for what he believes in and he's down to earth and been abducted well, I can't be down to earth and be uh, abducted at the same time do not drink fluoridated water people anyway ah What I wanted to talk about today, I've got like so many things that I've reviewed. I mean, I've got books. I've got the Gold Buddy. I've even got like the greatest magazine subscription you can ever get. And let me show you what that is under my Black Rifle Coffee here. AK-47 Espresso Blend. People, these... If you join the GPAA and you get a bunch of these. I think every three months they come. Yeah, July and August, every two months. Every two months you get one of these. Come on, Kai, you can do it. Come on, Kai. This is the May and June version. I got a bunch of mail in there. And plus, I haven't read this one. Yep, he's a genius, folks. He is a effing genius. Anyway, start you like to see that black rifle copy get you some now. So anyway, all these are just bills and some of this shit like. I got a survey after, all right, after the election. I, I mean, keep this in mind, people. This is after Donald, Donald Trump has already uh, voted as president because he won something. I don't know, Chuck E. Cheese, or he, he, he was a, a millionth visitor of Disney. Well, I don't know how he got to be POTUS. But anyway, oh, that's right, because a bunch of people who don't want to be in America said they were going to leave America. I think it was 22 or 23 people. Ooh, let's look them up, shall we? Can't really get to my... You really can't. You 
can say that again, yeah. Again, yeah. <laughs> there we go. That's a little bit better. <sighs> That's weird. I'm watching myself three different ways. Three different ways of angles. And... That's crazy. I did, I did want to show y'all this. This was the USO version. It says veteran. You read that? Oh, yeah. Uh, Lilac signed it and she wrote Gold Man Dolo 7 on it because uh, it's like her favorite. But I do kind of really like that. I think it's cool. And people, what do you think, you know, about my support of the Air Force, first of all? And I have these pins that say I love America because I love America. Not necessarily all the people that's in it, but you know what? Love is acceptance, and love is kind, and love is patient, and love can be blind. Helen Keller, she loved people, and she was blind. So anyway, yeah. <laughs> hey, what? What that guy? What, what, what he said? Anyway, I say that too much. I used to say that in my public speaking class too. So, uh, you know, hey. Anyway. I'm going to go ahead and light this because I don't feel like doing a dip right now and I'm going to show you how dangerous, how bad these are because they have so many chemicals in it. Go to mtvtruth.com cigarettes killed Kennedy. Yeah, we don't know that ain't true. I think he did smoke though. He really did. He smoked Lucky Strike. Him and Mar Marilyn Monroe, after they had oh, some nookie, after they had the old whoopee, they shared a lucky strike. True story. Ash Bobby Kennedy. What do you mean he's dead? Ooh. So they killed him too, huh? Well, he should have been drinking black rifle coffee and maybe he wouldn't have died. I don't know. Thank you, Black Rifle Coffee, for when I say, oh my lord, you think it's empty coffee cup. Honey, I think Onyx spilled uh, some tea on the big chair. Oh, or a drink spilled. All right, I ain't gonna lie. I spilled a little bit of coffee on it, trying to show that there was not much in my cup, and now there's less because I spilled a little on the, the big chair. People <coughs> was a huge waste of valuable resource. It's just a little bit, and I tried to blame it on a four-year-old. What kind of man are you? There's a veterans, you know, all, there's just a military channel there. Oh my gosh, that AK-47 espresso is the absolute best coffee in the world. It's not even like, like the blend is so... Delicious. The best taste, the best flavor, no aftertaste. Like that blue Maxwell house in a can. Oh my gosh. I would rather drink some chai southern blend dip spit that I've been doing for the last like four days. But by how long can dip me last me? Because I try not to dip as much, but I try to dip more than I smoke. That's what I'm dipping on now. It's some uh, coffin gagging gay. I'm pro gay if I buy the coffin gagging gay. Um, that and my uncle slash aunt fluid gender. I don't know. I told them the best way to do that. This guy needs to shut up. Alright.
what I told my uncle slash aunt, Mike, to do. I was like, Mike, there's only one gender. There is only one. And he's like, oh yeah, Jamie, what's that? Hey, my family call me Jamie, don't be hating. I was like, the attack helicopter. I was poker face, dead serious. And he looked at me like, what? I was like, attack helicopter. What? I was like, forget it. You be the fucking man, woman, Caitlyn Jenner you want to be, and you do it the best damn way you can. You put your heart and soul into her, whatever you do. Whatever you do, people. Put your heart, soul, but first and foremost, put God first. Because without God, I wouldn't have this flag. One of my buddies, way down the road, like, 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 way down where I grew up, down in the sticks, in the holler, he brought me, it says, heritage not hate. He found, he probably stole it. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, what was I going to call you? Um, eh, we're going to just call you old Corey. Your boyfriend's name. Now look, it says heritage, not hate. And it's the rebel flag. Because it is a, it's heritage. It has history. There is nothing oh yeah okay so the KK cat ka, the kilo 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 flew the rebel flag when they were going to lynches and you know playing go fish I mean I don't know why people got mad because they were flying the American flag too and the last time I checked the grand wizard last time I was at his wife's house before I got in a serious relationship. Do you remember that, granddaddy? Or grand pappy, dragon lord, whatever your name is. Or wizard. I see a wizard. That's just weird. Hey, who are you, Merlin? <laughs> are, you, are you Merlin the anti-black? I mean, eh. You got white magic, black magic, I guess, and he's just not into the black magic, I reckon. <laughs> but anyway, what is the deal? I mean, we fly to, we, <laughs> like I was there back in the 1940s and 50s, you know, they flew the Christian flag, too, and you can ask any encyclopedia to see if that's true. It don't talk back and it does not like talk to text or none of that shit. You actually got to read the black and white little words um, in the book. Speaking of books and speaking of someone who supports the Confederate flag also known as the rebel flag and yes if you're wondering why old Johnny Rebel the deer head here is covered up. I'm gonna tell you people, PETA, PETA threw a fit that that deer acted like he was alive and talking to me. They said that was a disgrace to the animals. And I was like, call Dolly Parton, bitch. Cause this ain't a family show, fuck you. I got something I gotta to tell you. I gotta edit that. I gotta edit that. I got something that. to tell you.